Hey guys, I am sharing how I did these Dollar Tree DIY burlap carrots. They were so fun and pretty easy to put together. So let me show you what I used. Now the disc and the cone I got from the Dollar Tree, the sisal twine, the jute, can also be gotten from there. The 10 inch mesh and the gingham, the burlap I got from Hobby Lobby, as well as that greenery. And uh, this was kind of fun to put together because what I did was I took this cone and I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. Um, so I put this extra piece on there. I just hot glued that together. And then to take a little bit of the harshness around it, I took my little nail file and I just um, filed off the edges that would give it more of the curved look. I chose to use uh, this orange paint to paint my carrot uh, because I was going to wrap burlap on there and I didn't want to take the chance of uh, any of the cone showing through. But after I finished wrapping all of the burlap on the carrot, I didn't have any of it showing through. So it's just really a personal preference. So what I did was I started at the top and I started with like a four inch piece of burlap and I just started gluing it around the top and it, that kind of helped me once I wrapped my burlap on the carrot, that kind of helped keep everything in place. I like to buy my uh, burlap off of the bolt. I get it at Hobby Lobby usually because they have lots of different colors. And then I have this four inch strip that I am cutting into one inch strips then because that helps me, you know, maneuver it around the carrot, wrap it around there a little bit easier. And I just hot glued it on the carrot and uh, my camera wasn't filming at the time. I didn't realize it, but that's all I did. And then this greenery is kind of like onion grass. I know they have that at the Dollar Tree this season, but this particular bush I did get from Hobby Lobby. And I just stuck, uh, well, I cut off a few um, sprigs of it, and then I just stuck it into the styrofoam. And then now I brought up the orange of the burlap and then I took a piece of jute twine and then I'm going to tie that together so that it all stays nice and snug. To decorate the top and make it really cute and whimsical because you know I like that look. I am using some 10 inch mesh. I cut that off about five inches or six inches, something like that. I'm cutting two pieces for each of my carrots. And then for my fabric, I have this uh, green and white fabric. I'm cutting it about an inch and then I rip it down so it gives me that jagged or ragged edge. And then I will wrap that all together and make a cute little bow.
This fabric is just a little flimsy, so I have my stiffen quick spray that I spray on projects like this to stiffen up that little fabric and give it a little body. And so these carrots are great just to put in a little basket or decorate uh, your trays or something like that. So let's move on to my next carrot project. Okay, for these burlap carrots, I am using some orange tissue paper, and the tissue paper color really doesn't matter, just as long as you have orange, if you want orange carrots. Uh, and I'm ha I have some green raffia that I'm going to be using for the grass, and I'm going to use some, uh, some tape, and I have a paper clip on there because I got that uh, tip off of a blog a long time ago, and this, if you put a paper clip on the end of your tape then you always know where the end of it is and so I love that tip anyway so I have three pieces uh, with one cut in half and that was the size of paper that I use and so then I just fold it over those two like that and then now I'm going to start uh, wrapping it up and I as I'm wrapping it I kind of like have it you know going in a cone shape or a carrot shape so that in and depending on how fat you want your carrots will depend on how um, much paper you use so it really is kind of optional when it comes to how much paper do you use it really just depends so then now I'm just taking the tape and just putting it around it and just kind of forming it as I go along. And then for the top, I just kind of stuff that in there. And then I'm going to wrap on my burlap. And you know, carrots come in all shapes and sizes. And so it really isn't a perfect size for a carrot, really. They can be as big, little, or as funky, curvy as you want. And so I cut my strips into one inch strips or a little bit you know bigger than one inch it really doesn't matter just something that you can work with and then I kind of fold it over on itself and then I hot glue it and then I just twist it around the carrot I'm going to be sticking some of my raffia to make like the green part of the carrot in the well of that carrot. And so I just take a, a bunch of the raffia and just cut it off. And I have some little bitty rubber bands. I have so many of those loom rubber bands left from when my kids was were into them and making those loom bracelets many years ago anyway but if you have just a little bitty rubber band this works great to uh kind of you know put on your raffia to keep it all together and then i'll just hot glue that into the top of that carrot and then i'll just hot glue everything together I chose to keep my, these carrots plain, but they will look so cute with a buffalo check bow or some jute, some ribbon of your choice, anything to match your decor. But you can make carrots any way that you want just by 
changing up the paper that you use. You can use a styrofoam comb or you can use tissue paper and tape in raffia and make some cute little carrots. All right, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this, this episode of Flashback Friday here on Country Charm by Tracy. I appreciate you all. If you make some of these guys, share them with me over in the Country Charm Crafty community. It is the community that you can share your crafts with me that I've inspired you to do. All right, guys, we will talk to you very soon and God bless. Mm -hmm.